A good Monday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Monday, January the 15th. Hope all is well with you on this Martin Luther King Day. I remember very well Martin Luther King. He was assassinated when I was about eight years old. Racial tensions were quite bad in the area that I lived in and throughout the country. But I was, even at an early age, I marveled at this man who had this command and presence about him and a conviction to do what he thought was the right thing, which was to call for everyone to respect one another. That's really what it came down to. And he really did it in a very effective way, at least I thought he did. And I think that he should continue to be celebrated and we should listen to his messages more and more today, maybe more than ever before. So just a thought on Martin Luther King Day, and I hope you enjoy this day, and I will ask you now to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 18 to 22. The disciples of John and the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast when the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth into an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. Many years ago, when I used to travel a lot more, especially for my speaking engagements, but even on vacations, I would take with me several books and magazines and articles that I had printed out. Some of them I had read already, some of them I had not, but most of them I had already read and I was gonna go through them one more time. I read quite a lot, so these were ones that exhausted my ability to give them to family or friends. I didn't wanna give these out. They didn't seem to be appealing as much to some of the others. So they were just gonna get recycled. But instead, I took them on the road with me and I would leave them for people, whether it was in a hotel room, at an airport, wherever, and several times I saw people pick up a book, pick up a magazine, and smile. And it made me happy as I was leaving behind the old, but it was then going to be new for someone else. It's something I continue to today, and it's a habit, if you will, and it's something that I find enjoyable to some extent, even from the perspective of kind of letting go of the old, if you will. Well. It finally dawned on me not too long ago that although this is a very nice practice for me on physical things, I needed to employ it more on those emotional things that I carry around with me that are old and not very useful anymore. I've realized that many of them are self-imposed. I realize that many of them are damaging to me for a good future and for the future of those who I care about. So I've tried even more so to take time each day to release those emotional things, those memories, those things that really are not in my best interest going forward and try to really release them so that they are gone and I may look towards the new wineskin or the new cloak that Jesus talks about in the gospel today. Unlike my practice of the books or the magazines, This is truly an ongoing, consistent process that really needs to be done every day. I recognize that skipping a day here is not in my best interest, and I share that with you because I think it is a great habit to start. 10 minutes of meditation, prayer in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening will help you release what you need to release so that you could bring in the new those positive emotions that you are looking forward to taking into your mind and your heart. And when you do, amazing things happen. Most importantly, you will connect that much more with Jesus. 
Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Monday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful. I always welcome your comments and your thoughts. I appreciate you being here with me every single day. I'm going to take a moment or two of silent reflection, and then we'll end with a prayer. Most loving God and Savior, we thank you for all that you give to us. The new, the new thinking, the new emotions, those positive things we must take into our mind and hearts each and every day. We recognize that we must let go of some things each day as well to make room for those things that are so beautiful that you bring into our life. Give us the wisdom, the discipline, and the grace to do this each day and feel good about what we are releasing back that is of no value to ourselves or to others, recognizing that you will take over that space in us each day. Well, my friends, I wish you all a great Monday today, and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.